Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about my favorite beachy type fragrances. So I have 11 to share with you. I'm going to start with the most beachy and go to kind of the least beachy, but still kind of that vacation vibe feel. Yee! I'm so excited. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Here's the thing. I didn't wear a lot of suntan oil for starters as a kid, like back in the, you know, mid seventies, eighties, nineties, people loved to go out and suntan. And so, you know, the suntan lotions of the day, everyone loved them. Like they had the coconutty smell. They smelled so summery and amazing. Uh, and although I smelt them a few times, I have never been able to stand the heat. So while my two sisters were out sunning themselves completely, I would have been in like, <laughs> not literally, but long gloves and a really, really huge hat. So I've always stayed in the shade, even when we go uh, to the beach, if I can't find some shade, I'll just get sick. Like literally I get sick from the sun. Uh, I just get too hot. I don't sweat well. It, it's just not pleasant. So I've never been a sunner. Uh, plus, if I do go out in the sun instead of tanning, I just turn bright red, look like a beet, and it's not so good. So it's very rare that I have worn a sun tanning oil or anything that smelled overly beachy. I have worn sunscreen and even that is kind of, you know, it's relaxing because it's associated with the sun. So uh, that said, I do, I do know what people are talking about when they talk about those sunscreen beachy vibed uh, fragrances and I happen to have quite a few. So anyway, that's the, my beginning story. So the first one I want to start with is what I would consider to be the most sunscreeny one out of my collection and it is Jill Sanders Sun. Now when I smell this, I think kind of the straight up uh, l slightly sweetened uh, suntan lotion. So there's definitely a lotiony vibe to this one. There's a powdery quality to this, uh, but it definitely gives you that sunscreen uh, relaxing in the sun, sun vibe. Uh, this one has so many notes, it's insane. They'll be up on the screen. Uh, yeah, crazy, crazy amount of notes. Uh, the longevity is moderate. Uh, but it is a, a fun one to have in the collection. This definitely has that solar feel. Um, the longevity is rather short-lived, so that can be a, a plus uh, if you don't want something that's a massive projector. This is more of a skin scent, so if you like that relaxing vibe, this one's great for that. Some people find this one to be fairly long-lasting, I think. Like, I've heard mixed reviews. Uh, for me, like you get like three hours ish, uh, seemingly, uh, but yeah, it's kind of a fun one. It's relatively affordable, definitely worth checking out. The next most sunscreeny, uh, vibe that I have is Bobby Brown's beach. Now this one, this one, to be honest, I like it better than, uh, sun. Sun feels a little more lotiony. This one doesn't have the lotion vibe and there's a bit of a floral component to this, but it still smells like straight up, straight up sunscreen. Now this one, the longevity is again, like it's a closer projector. So you're going to get a little bit of projection for the first like hour and then it becomes a little bit more of a sin skin scent. You might find a little bit of, uh, you know, projection here or there, like get a whiff of it. Uh, but it will last on your skin for about five hours at least. So this one is uber relaxing to me. Out of the two, I would say I like this one better because I don't like lotiony smells and I find this one to be a little more lotiony. Uh, longevity and everything kind of similar, I guess. This one just feels a little bit more clear where this one feels a little bit more lotiony slash powdery, uh, but kind of similar. The notes in Beach are very, very simple. Uh, but the floral in here is jasmine, and I definitely get that jasmine coming out. So although you do get that sunscreen vibe, there is that jasmine, which kind of adds a little bit of an intoxicating vibe. This one's a really great one, and this one's also great for pairing with other fragrances if you want to uh, sunscreen up a citrus, let's say. 
uh, this would be a great one to pair with it. Uh, this also goes with any sort of a solar type lotion that you might have. Uh, this this one, it's super versatile for sure. The next uh, most sunscreeny one I have is Nux Prodigio Le Parfum. Now you can get the, the perfume, you can get the oil. I suggest pairing the two together. So these oils, they're really cool because they're multi-purpose. So you can put it in your hair, um, you can put it in uh, to extend the longevity of your fragrance. Uh, and it's just a really relaxing smell. Although uh, it's sunscreeny, uh, where beach is more, uh, uh, where beach has more of that floral in it, this one has quite a lot of floral. It has gardenia, magnolia, rose, and orange blossom. There's coconut, there's vanilla in here. But this one, uh, it's got that same sunscreen vibe, but this one is a little bit more of that beachy feel, not just straight up sunscreen. So this has a little bit more of a beachy feel and this one has a little more citrus. So if you like a little bit of a citrus fresher feel, this one's really great. Um, I prefer, I'm not gonna talk about Bronze Goddess because I personally don't like it at all. I know technically a lot of people consider it beachy. I just find it stinky. So Bronze Goddess isn't on this list. I've had it in the past. Uh, it's rather short-lived and it smells cloying to me. So I haven't found a Bronze Goddess that I've liked yet. Uh, Prodigio, again, the longevity isn't great. Really on sunscreen fragrances, it's rare that the longevity is amazing. Uh, but this one is really quite affordable and it's definitely got that kind of more luxe sunscreen vibe. And I like the citrus component to this. Even though there's a lot of florals, there's still that coconut, a little bit of coconutty feel coming out. Uh, and I like the citrus opening on this one. This is definitely one of my favorites. I love the fact that there's an oil as well that you can get. Uh, just it's kind of a great little combo and it makes it last a little longer. Now, the next fragrance that I have for you is Beach Walk uh, by the Maison Margiela Replica line. This one is, again, uh, super relaxing. It's more of that beachy feel, so not just full-on sunscreen. I find that the longevity is poor on this one, too, so three, four hours max for these beachy ones so far. Uh, this one has some citrus in the opening. There's coconut. There's ylang ylang. Uh, for, for me... This one, it's it's got that beachy vibe, but this one's a little more musky. So if you like some musk in with your kind of beachy fragrance, this one's really, really great. Uh, it's quite soft, it's subtle, it's musky. There's kind of a sexy quality, definitely relaxing as well. So this is a great option. This one's a lot more, this one's a little bit more pricey though, but it's, it's still very, very nice. Next beachy fragrance is Jennifer Aniston's Chapter One. Now, honestly, um, this one is such a great contender for that beachy fragrance. This one has a little bit more of a balsamic quality to it. So this one really reminds me of Eau de Soleil Blanc, which is the next fragrance I'm gonna talk about. Uh, the longevity on this one, again, two, three hours is what you're gonna get, but it's uber relaxing and it smells a lot more expensive than it is because it smells very similar to me to the Eau de Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford. It's got quite a few florals in it. There's some tiare flower, there's some musk tonka, there's a little bit of bergamot in this. So this one has a little bit more of a, a citrus opening. I get a little bit of that tiare flower, but for me, it just feels a little bit aromatic, balsamic, uh, which I'm not quite sure how. Maybe it's the pink pepper, uh, but this is such a great fragrance because it's really affordable. I would say that out of all the ones I've talked about so far, this is the best bang for your buck because it's so affordable. Um, lasts about the same amount of time as the rest of them, but it actually smells a little bit more high-end. So you're getting a high-end smelling sunscreen fragrance for less money than all the other ones, for sure. And of course, the next one uh, being I just talked about chapter one is Eau de Soleil Blanc. Now this one definitely has the aromatic qualities in it. I just, I love this one. I find it so sexy. Really chapter one is sexy too. 
This one's got a little bit of an edge on it. Maybe it's the bottle, maybe it's the gold, but this smells like a bougie sunscreen. This is what a millionaire wears to the beach, but they never actually go to the beach. If they go to the beach, they're carried to the beach. But th the people that wear this, they they tend to just be on yachts. So somehow they float themselves out to a yacht and then they sun themselves on their yacht in the middle of the ocean or the Maldives or someplace fabulous like that. They smell like this one for sure. So this is definitely more expensive. The longevity is no better than the rest of them. In fact, it's probably worse. So for sure, you're only going to get about three hours. That said, some people find that this one lasts a long time. So if you want it to last longer, put it with kind of a beachy lotion. I love this fragrance. Um, don't wear it that often because again, I don't really ever like, I don't gravitate towards the sunscreeny ones a ton. Uh, but when I do, this is definitely high on the list as far as my favorite smell out of all of the ones so far. The next ones, they've got a bit of that beachy vibe. Uh, but they're a lot less sunscreen, but still a little bit sunscreen. So the first one is Alien Eau Sublime. Now this one is like a citrus sunscreeny solar version of Alien. So it's perfect for the summer if you're an Alien fan. I love this one. It's got that Alien-esque sexy factor, but then with some citrus on the top and some solar qualities. Um, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. It's refreshing, uh, but yet sexy. It still has that sunscreen relaxing vibe, uh, but with the alien DNA somehow. So um, out of all the alien flankers for summer, this is one of my favorites. I really enjoy this one. Uh, it's sexy, but somehow works in the heat. So um, enjoy this one way more than Alien O Extraordinaire, which to me doesn't last long. And that's more like a fresh tea version of Alien, whereas this is kind of a beachy version of Alien. So this works great during the day, but it could take you into the evening. The longevity on this one, about five hours. Next is one that I don't have yet in my collection, but definitely want it, and it's Holidays by Mansara. Now this is kind of departing from the sunscreen vibes and going more into that luxe kind of holiday vacation like maybe it's a suntan oil, but you're not getting sunscreen necessarily. Uh, I love this. Now, the crazy thing is, is I did purchase this at one point and the label was crumpled and I smelt it and I'm like, I don't like it. So I sent it back. Uh, I am so regretting it now because I love this fragrance. So this does have like just, just an ever so slight hint of that sunscreen feel in the dry down, but you get way more coconut. There's some tiare flower and some ylang ylang along with the, some solar notes, which gives it that sunscreen feel in my opinion. Uh, the coconut is more underneath the florals. The florals are blended really beautifully, so they're not too heady or anything like that. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous blend. It smells very luxurious. So this isn't your slathering sunscreen at, at the side of the lake. Uh, type fragrance. This is fancy beach resort. Someone's bringing you some sort of fancy pina colada and you're relaxing on a beautiful chaise lounge. That's this fragrance. So a lot more bougie. Now, although the price tag on the Manseras is a little higher than uh, what some of these other ones are, the longevity just blows the other ones out of the water. So the longevity on this one, you're looking at like eight to 10 hours. So fantastic longevity. It's also quite sexy. So it's something you could wear in the evening. And although it's a really strong fragrance, um, it's not gonna get too cloying even in the heat. So bang for your buck, this is a really great deal. Like for example, um, I got my Bobby Brown Beach for $10 at a discounter, but this is $100 at Sephora. Now this is a great fragrance, but it's very short lived. This you can get on, let's say, Fragrance Net or Fragrance Buy for around $120. So bang for your buck, go with holidays for sure. Unless you really, really love sunscreen, then go with this. But if you just want that holiday relaxing feel, 
go with something like holidays for sure. Next one, and again, this is like slowly, like it's still got a little bit of that solar quality to it, but it's a little bit of a departure. This is Olympia Aqua Legere. Now this one has orange in it. Uh, oh, it's just beautiful. It's got vanilla, there's the salt in it, there's some orange, uh, there's some florals in here. Uh, that balance that kind of salty vibe out so beautifully. So this is like a, a summer version of Olympia. So if you love Olympia, but it's too much for you in the heat, this one is really gorgeous. This one is actually kind of similar to Alien Au Sublime. So they have similarities somehow in the solar quality and the citrus quality. This is more lemony. This is more orangey. Um, this one is sweeter than Alien Au Sublime, and this one has the salty component. So you get that uh, relaxing kind of ocean feel. This is like beach goddess vibes for sure. Uh, I don't think there's any coconut in this one, whereas Holidays has that coconut tiara. This doesn't have, I don't even think this has tiara, but you definitely get that solar feel with this one. The longevity on this one about five, six hours. I've got two more to share with you. First is Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain. Now this one, uh, this smells a lot more like a, um, a tanning oil. So I get kind of a Moroccan oil feel to this one. It's very warm. There's tiara in here, there's coconut. Now this is more similar to something like a bronze goddess. Uh, but I, I, I so much prefer this over Bronze Goddess. Bronze Goddess smells like a cheap version of this. I find Bronze Goddess to be slightly cloying and I find it to be short-lived, whereas this one lasts a good six hours on my skin. Uh, it's so relaxing. It smells very luxurious. It smells super bougie. Uh, no sunscreen per se for this one at all, but it has an oily quality, not unlike uh, Holidays by Mancera. Uh, it feels so relaxing, but this is definitely more of a high-end luxe feel. Uh, very classy, very elegant. You could wear this, you know, you're not just relegated to, well, you can wear anything you want whenever you want, but this one is more, um, yeah, it, it's more an easy reach every day, kind of delicious solar relaxing feeling fragrance. Ah, I love this one. It's so gorgeous. And the last one, I wanted to include it because when people have smelt it, they go, oh, it's it smells like bougie sunscreen. I don't find it smells like bougie sunscreen, but again, it's probably because I didn't smell many suntan oils because I never suntanned. Uh, but it is Coco Vanille by Mansara. Now, the reason why I left this one as the least of the beachy fragrances is that uh, it feels a little bit more tropical than beachy. Definitely the coconut is the major player in this one. So it has a little bit of a bright opening with some citrus and then you get the coconut. I think there's tiara in here as well. Uh, it goes more like a coconut vanilla as it dries down. It's so juicy and delectable in the opening and then as it dries down you get a lot of that coconut and it smells like really uh, like like raw coconut centric fragrance along with some florals uh, and then some vanilla. So it's really, really beautiful. As it dries down, it becomes almost like a coconut vanilla icing to me on my skin. Again, the longevity on this is insane, like 10 plus hours for this one. Uh, I can see this one feeling a little cloying in the heat. Uh, but I would do, do it in the evening then because it's really, really delectable. So this is the less, least sunscreeny beachy, in my opinion, out of all of them, uh, but still has that kind of solar vibe, so I wanted to mention it. So out of all 11, I'm going to mention four as being total winners in my book that kind of if you were to get these four, you'd have kind of that solar Lux holiday beach vibe uh, on all fronts covered. So the first one I want to talk about is chapter one by Jennifer Aniston. Um, this gives you that sunscreeny, uh, relaxing vibe. It's a little bit Lux uh, feeling, but um, it's short lived, but it's so affordable. So out of all of the kind of straight up sunscreen beach uh, vibes, 
this is, I think, probably the most affordable. So from that perspective, this is a major winner because uh, you don't need that kind of scent profile a lot. So seriously, this is such a great option as opposed to going with something like an Eau de Sole Blanc, although I love that one, or even a beach walk. This is gonna give you the same vibe, but for a fraction of the cost. For an easy reach, I would go with Olympia Aqua Legere. This gives you still that bit of beachiness, but you can kind of wear it everywhere. Uh, I Out of this one and Alien Eau Sublime, I'd actually cho chose Alien Eau Sublime, but it's really hard to come by. So this one is a great second choice. It's a good performer. Uh, it smells relaxing. Um, yeah, I wore this as an easy reach. As you can see, I've worn it a lot. Uh, just easy to grab and go, and it doesn't smell so beachy that it's like, why are you wearing sunscreen when you're going to work? Like this would work as a relaxing kind of holiday fragrance that works in all sorts of situations. As far as an elegant holiday fragrance, I've got two uh, that I would choose. First of all, Terracotta Le Parfum. Uh, this one, it's just one of my favorites. I feel like it's so elegant, it's so classy. And yeah, I just, I can't be without this one. I love it. And it's actually affordable too. I think it's 105 Canadian, maybe 110 Canadian. So relatively affordable. And this one, if you had only this, that would absolutely do you. And then for a more high-end vibe, honestly, I would go with holidays. Uh, if you want that holiday feel, that vacation feel, uh, this is delicious. It's versatile uh, and it's uber long lasting. So out of all of them, this is the most long lasting. So definitely wins as far as smelling bougie, long lasting. The price takes higher on this one, but you do get that kind of luxe, uh, you know, vacation feel with this one. Uh, yeah, I, like really there's nothing bad to say about this one. It's just gorgeous, but it's not for everybody. If you haven't smelt Mancera's, the DNA is a bit of an acquired taste. So this one might be like a little bit tricky if you're blind buying it, but I just love the sweetness in this one. I love the tiare and the ylang ylang, love the coconut, but the coconut isn't uber overpowering like it is in Coco Vanille, where it's like really, really strong coconut, which has its place too. But this, as far as a holiday fragrance that kind of ticks all the boxes, plus is long, long lasting, this one's amazing. So I hope that was helpful. All of these fragrances are actually really, really beautiful and they all have a place. Uh, I like wearing them all, but there's some that are better bang for your buck or work better for kind of more occasions. Uh, whereas some are just straight up that sunscreen vibe, which sometimes you just want, like you crave it. So anyway, those are my favorite uh, sunscreen, holiday vibe, beachy vibe fragrances. What about you? What are your favorites? Leave them in the comments. Have you tried any of the ones that I've talked about? If, I, if you have, please weigh in. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.